Hi everybody, and uh, welcome to uh, episode four of Lockdown Lumberjacks. I hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Um, uh, this is the fourth in the series. This is obviously uh, designed for parents with young children at home, unable to go to school, looking for educational materials for the youngsters, uh, using chainsaws safely, uh, sharpening axes, that kind of thing, obviously. Um, so I hope this is of some help. Um, this week we've got a very special episode for you. It's been a lot requested. Coming up over the over the next few weeks, we've got some very exciting episodes. We've got um, exclusive interviews with famous local lumberjacks. We've got um, lumberjacks. Uh, what do lumberjacks like to eat after they come in from a hard day uh, lumberjacking? Um, this kind of thing. But uh, today we're going to talk about. Um, uh, how lumberjacks should dress. What is appropriate clothing, of course, thinking of health and safety. Uh, to be a successful lumberjack, what should you be wearing? So I'm just going to talk you through uh, what I've got on here. I am starting um, with the toes. Okay, so I'm, I'm wearing my uh, steel-capped leather lumberjack boots. And uh, it's very important to wear steel-capped boots. You never know when a log is going to uh, pop out or drop and uh, hit you on the toes. I'm just going to demonstrate this to you. Don't try this at home folks, but uh, what happens if you drop a log on your toes? Uh, it clunks and there's nothing because the steel in those. Inside those I'm wearing a uh, Bridgedale uh, woolen socks. It's my favorite brand of sock. Uh, they're fantastically warm, very durable. Um, and uh, comfortable for a, a whole day's work uh, lumberjacking easily. Um, okay, so uh, and the other the underlayer. Uh, these are fantastic uh, Asics sports tops that I wear. That they're, they're really good. Um, I think you. Yeah, I think they're about twenty quid or something like this. I've got several of these. Uh, they wick the sweat very well. As if you're lumberjacking hard. Um, and uh, they're very comfortable uh, against your skin. Uh, the main garment I'm wearing, this is a still um, lumberjack dungarees, obviously very important to look the part, but uh, actually there's a lot more to them than that. These are cut resistant trousers, so uh, we to have a chainsaw if, if, to slip for any reason, there's incredibly strong matted fabric inside the legs of these trousers, uh, so that it will actually stop a uh, chainsaw blade almost instantly and uh, prevent it cutting through to your leg. So uh, they're not only fashionable uh, and they look great, um, but they're actually very functional as well. And uh, there's a top pocket here for your phone and uh, various other useful items. Um, okay, the next layer I usually like to wear um, a sleeveless uh, fleece. Um, my favorite fleece blend is uh, Musto. I love musto stuff, they're a bit expensive though. Um, but I like to be wearing a, a sleeveless uh, fleece underneath. Obviously today it's nice and warm, I, I probably wouldn't need anything else. Um, but uh, my next layer is usually the, um, this is a Snowbee wind blocker fleece. So uh, it's not particularly warm but it does keep the wind out. Um, and again, it's full of nice pockets and everything. If it's really pissing with rain and I'm doing really tough work, I do have an old barber. Um, don't really like wearing barbers. They're incredibly hot to work in, but the uh, waxed outline, the waxed exterior, it, it's incredibly strong. You, you're pushing through brush and bushes and uh, bracken and brambles, whatever. And you, you know, you wear an expensive rainproof top, it'll just rip to pieces. This is incredibly hard wearing. Um, it's not that comfortable to work in, but if conditions necessitate it, there's nothing better. Okay, obviously you can see I'm wearing um, safety goggles. I wear those nearly all the time, uh, even just in the garden. It's all sorts of stuff that gets in your eyes. Uh, so I wear those. Um, and. Obviously, if you're chainsawing all day, uh, it's a good idea to have a safety helmet. Doesn't matter where you are, but it's surprising how often branches can spring back, hit you on the head. Even if you, 
not falling from above, even uh, working at a lower level. Um, take my hat off, of course. Um, so there we go, and of course you need ear defenders, uh, keep the noise out if you've got a particularly noisy chainsaw, and finally there's a visor there as well. Okay, uh, and the last piece of the puzzle, I have a pair of Oregon uh, chainsaw gloves here, again just like the trousers, um, some nice uh, cut resistance here on the left hand, so if you're a right-handed person, you have a lot of padding on the left hand uh, glove to keep you safe. Okay, that just about rounds up uh, what you need to be a successful uh, lumberjack and keep yourself safe. Um, and uh, good luck to you all. Thank you for watching Lockdown Lumberjacks. Uh, we'll be back uh, for another episode. Uh, don't miss uh, episode five. We've got some exciting things coming up. Thank you all and stay safe.